Yeah, the first time I played against Merchant Cast, I was just kind of like, what can I do? I was not ready for this. We have the solution. You have the solution. On to the next bit, missions. <laughs> the solution is in a missions card that was released in Met Warrior called Accidental Collision. And, and, and much as Gustav gets really excited with Solaris contacts and, and <laughs> I and whatever else, this is, this is one of my little favourites. I quite like this card. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't see a lot of uh, play, but it is, it is fun when you pull it off. And, and I have seen it put in the odd sideboard. And, and it's, it's a do or die type, type mission with, about, um, with a two-thirds success rate. So basically, it's, it's, it's simulating a, a clash or a collision between two mechs. And you roll a die, and basically your mech receives damage equal to its tonnage. Okay, it's probably going to die. However, on a three to six, your opponent mech receives damage equal to its tonnage. Okay, now if you remember when we talked about a reactor breach uh, in the last um, cast, where it was tonnage divided by 10 damage across the board kind of thing with a die roll, this is the same kind of thing. This is how to deal with uh, a big mech, one of those uh, mad cats. Mad cats are 75 tons, round down that seven damage. Attack it with something small like a Fenris or a Dasher or something like that. Roll this and, and kill the mad cat. And, and it's an effective way to deal with those, those big mechs. Because being big, they tend to have larger tonnages. And therefore, you can easily get a, a six, seven, eight, eight damage increase against them. Um, and if you then combine it with something like a Star Commander, which lets you re-roll it when, it go, when the roll is bad, a one or a two, you're in a win situation. So, bucket load of fun, how to deal with big mechs. Yeah, you just have to look at uh, card costs associated with that. So you've got the Dasher, you've got the Star Commander, and you've got an accidental collision. So you've put three cards into taking out a 14-cost Mad Cat. Now... That 14 cast Mad Cod, if you don't have that in removed, it's going to mess up your, your board state because that's a huge advantage. Your opponent's got that mech out there and all you've got is a couple little dashers. So it might be worth it for you to lose three cards to get that one off the board. Um, but like Mark said, this is do or die. You, if, if, if you, you, don't, you don't need, need to the Star Commander, off, though. You yeah, don't you need don't need the Star Commander. That's just a bit of fun. Okay, all right. Is that, On five, the converse is that side, five enough? Is that going to be enough to get them off? Or that seven? Sorry? Sorry, I said five, seven. Seven. Yeah, I guess the seven would be enough to get off, you know, adding additional seven. Seven and four is 11. You only have to have 11. Yeah, you're okay. good. So on the other side, what do we have? On the other side, we have the other tonnage mission, which is charge and is awful. <laughs> much, as I like, much as I like accidental collision, I hate charge just as much in the opposite direction. Good old bit of karma there. Okay. The idea is fun, but it's awful. It's just... Ugh. So you basically have to play it on a mech that's the same speed or slower. It only works a third of the time uh, because you, you start rolling and, and damaging yourself. I mean, there's so much text on this. I'm going to have to check it on another screen. Uh, Basically, the options are one to two. Your mech receives one damage and put it back in your hand. Do I really want to play it again? Three to four, your mech receives one damage and the opponent's mech receives X damage where X is the base armor of your mech. Oh, that's great on a dasher. That is, whoa, plus zero. And five to six, your mech receives one damage and the opposing mech receives X damage where X is equal to its tonnage divided by 10. Why would I play this when I've got accidental collision? I, I can get same max damage on much better die rolls. It's awful. Steer yeah. clear. Yeah, it's horrible. I've never put this. This is this is the, we were looking for uh, cards to feed our pets. This is one. Yeah. Now there is a card that uh, you may look at and think this card has no purpose. But in a goldfish deck, this card is a 9 out of 10. Expert timing. You get to choose a mech you control. And for each point by which your initiative exceeds your opponent's, that mech gets plus to one attack. Okay. 
So when we're looking at uh, the base uh, line of all mission cards, the, the good shooting, you know, your mech gets plus two attack. If you have pilots in play, say Victor. Victor is plus three initiative. You each have tactics in play because you have to have tactics to get Solaris context. You get a plus three. So expert timing on Prince Victor, you're a plus three. That, that's that's fantastic. You, that, you, you could play that. Nobody's going to give you a hard time. I wouldn't say fantastic. It's, it's good. It's fair. So a three in that type of situation. But in the Goldfish deck uh, with involving a Daishi prime uh inside job report from the watch loose cannon that combo uh and i have one of those are is on the yeah or the yahoo group in the facebook group i put that out there um you can double the 20 damage that you are going to do and uh you could do 40 damage with expert timing because you flipped over over that uh daishi prime with your loose cannon and uh, you have all that initiative um and with expert timing, it's part of the combo. It, it's fantastic. So it in a combo deck, it's a nine. Uh, otherwise, uh, in a pilot deck that you're already going to have um, excess initiative, it's a it's a three. Yeah, pretty fair. I mean, the other thing to say is it, it's for each point by which your initiative exceeds your opponent's. So again, the, there's pilot versus pilot here, and arguably Vic might have have another point of damage on there, depending on who else he's with. Uh, the only other thing is actually, this is a two fingers in the air to Kai, because it basically says, yeah, you might win initiative, but you don't get any bonus from this card. True. The counter to this is another Gustav choice. <laughs> yeah, evasive maneuvers. Look at this, what they did. That What they did with uh, accidental collision and charge, they did with expert timing and evasive maneuvers. So expert timing, we're talking exceeding uh, opponent's initiative giving you attack bonus this for each point by which your initiative exceeds your opponent prevent one damage uh there is no comparative pilot uh, that gives you damage prevention to a mech based on a top card mill so you can't get that type of advantage um you, if you have playing kai allard you're already preventing damage Moves, move to partial cover uh, prevent two is almost always going to be better card than this because this basically is just going to prevent one uh, i would never play evasive maneuvers it's a one gotcha. the only pilot i could think about using this with is maybe aris sung because he's already got a natural plus two damage reduction you could increase mm. it but the, the, it's again it, it's it's the difference if if it's if if you if you jump and get plus one initiative over your opponent, then it's only prevent one damage. There are better cards out there that do it much more reliably. It's rubbish. Feed it to your pet. Yeah. Uh, another one that's looking at uh, uh, at the bonus based on certain factors in play is brutal punch. Uh, you can only play it during a battle and one of your mechs gets plus X attack where X is its base armor. Well, it, with a dasher, <laughs> so what? But if you're talking about an Atlas, uh, that's fantastic. Or if you're talking about uh, one of those uh, seven cost berserkers, uh, I mean, you can you can get a plus three or plus four out of that. For most mechs, however, this is going to be a poor bonus, maybe a plus one, plus two. Brutal Punch is going to be a very low rated card. Uh, the artwork, however, uh, putting your fist through Masakari's face uh, is fantastic. Uh, and the quote is, is, is great as well. Too bad uh, the card doesn't do better. I'd only rank it at two. Yeah, I, I mean, the, it's another great Francois Hinkle card and, and the quote is awesome as well. Uh, about leading with your left and keeping your right up on the Masakari. When you think about it, majority of mechs, two, two, two armor, one armor, good shooting is better in the most, most, most cases. Don't bother. Pick something else. Well, it seems like this would be better if it was plus X uh, is its uh, structure rather than its base armor. Um, or the combined armor of both mechs. Yeah, that would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, here we go. A mission that is unique to St. Ives. I really, really like this mission. Um, it is the equivalent of a subterfuge card. Um, it's a trap. And it is incredibly powerful. Um, and you do not have to have any blockers. No blockers involved. So... It, uh, it's unique to St. Ives in that there's not a lot of St. Ives players out there, not a lot of St. Ives decks being built. 
Uh, you need to have a deck built around it, but it is a huge tempo interruption because we talked about uh, Eric, Alpha Strike off, being the name, name the card real quick. Oh, Dropship Intercept. Right. Dropship Intercept, you play only if you are the defending player and do not control any blocking mechs. You deplete all attacking mechs at the end of the mission. So we talked about the advantage of a overheat option on a mech as opposed to an alpha strike option, because an alpha strike option, your mech after it uses alpha strike is flipped over. It can be attacked by any other mech, any other unit, and it does no damage in return. At the end of your turn, at the end of your next turn, instead of untapping, it just flips back over and you see its face, it's still tapped. So when you use alpha strike, you put your mech out of play for basically two turns. It's a terrible situation uh, for you to find yourself in, especially if it's a surprise. And Saint Ives, uh, a mission card, as opposed to a subterfuge card that costs four, I believe, for it's a trap. Um, you can play this for free, you have tactics in play. None of your units can be blocking. You deplete all of your attacking units, and then you get a, basically a free shot if they've, if they've emptied their board to try and finish you out. So if it's a close situation, um, you may be able to use this as a, as a last gasp uh, attempt to get, uh, to get the win. Um, it's niche in, in, its, in its use, but for St. Ives, it's, it's one of their unique uh, cards. I'd give it a four. I would play it. Absolutely. I actually played this as a tournament. I, I ran It's a Trap, Dropship Intercept. Uh, yeah. And and It's it's a Trap's uh, Crusade card, but just for reference, Scrap when Revealed, Activate During Your Missions Phase, Choose an Opponent. For every two counters above the cost of this card, choose one of his or her units. Those units attack any legal target of your choice as a single mission. So it's kind of disguised coordinates. So basically, you would let them attack, I don't know, a resource that you didn't mind or something rather like that. They'd obviously kill it, but you drop ship them and, and literally um, deplete them for, for, so they're going to be out of action for two rounds. And then that gives you an advantage where you can, you can finish the game out. Um, it works quite well. Uh, it works quite well without the it's a trap combination, uh, just purely for the depleting uh, and a mech uh, effect. Um, and, and remember that anything that's depleted can be attacked and doesn't deal damage back. So you might be able, if you're ready to take the hit from, from one of those clan big magnet decks, just deplete it and then either hunt it or, or keep it out of the game for, for a couple of turns while you win. Mm. Um, so, I, I, again, I quite like it. I think it can be a bit niche. Don't underrate it is, is probably the, the summary of, 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 of that card. And I was confused, Mark. I'm sorry. I was confused with Mech Trap. That's the subterfuge yes. cards that I was thinking that was yeah. costing four. So basically, it's a mission that does the same as a subterfuge card that costs four. So for value, St. Ives has the huge value here. That's what yeah. I wanted to, to, to bring up. Got it. And that, we, that was a mercenary card. So we've already had that chance to talk about those. Okay. And finally, 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 fin